Hey guys, Thomas Sicily Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom. Still catching up with some 2016 movie re reviews. Apologies for that. I did get a bit more stacked up on my Let's Plays since I am more of a hybrid channel, I suppose, but that's neither here or there. I'm here to discuss the movie Why Him? featuring Brian Cranston and James Franco as the two male leads, and then uh, James Franco's uh, girlfriend, who you see on the right side there. Anyways, uh, in the movie, uh, Brian Cranston is this father figure who owns this business, and he soon finds out that via a phone call to from their daughter who's in another state that James Franco's character is dating her and thus this sort of intrigue gets them to go over there and that's pretty much the premise of the story now uh, that's out of the way let's talk about the characters now since this is a comedy it shouldn't be too surprised that the characters here aren't that fleshed out they feel very close to being a simplistic archetype. For example, the father is the concerned father for the daughter, and he doesn't trust James Franco's character because of the amount of swearing he does, and so on and so forth. The daughter is just sort of just sort of making just love to James Franco, and she does, you know question him from time to time as well. She's sort of like independent in that sort of way and that's just the amount of character she gets. James Franco is just this sort of video game designer who uh, has all these other people in this house. And, you know, he, he's living it up big pretty much. Uh, and the way this movie's promoted to the way I saw on screen, I thought there was going to be a lot more of the actual fight between the two characters, and it doesn't happen all the way up until the third act. Um, I mean, the fa the son-in-law says that he's going to sort of do all these things to impress him, and then he's like, yeah, sure, but I'm going to get all this info on you, and so on and so forth. And it felt like this movie was a bit, well, I mean, with it being a comedy, it did feel like it was trying a little bit too hard in that department, and it felt like they were trying to go for more of the punchline rather than telling a story that just happens to have funny elements elements in it, if that makes any sense. Um, and... Yeah, I snickered here and there, but other than that, mm, you know, it's just your typical comedy movie. Uh, I'm not that impressed by it by any means, uh, so there's that. I have one other movie that I'm looking into for future reference, but for, as far as this movie is concerned, I would give it like a 5 out of 10, like, you know, it's halfway decent, I would say. The characters are alright. There's some moments here and there that might make you snicker if you've seen it. Or if you plan to see it if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, and as I said, there will probably be like one or two more movies that I saw on my list that I wanted to see that were still in 2016. So those might be coming out maybe. Um, and then the other video planned was something this Friday, I believe. Uh, oh boy, uh, it's going to be a bummer, but if you are looking forward to that, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye!